Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going over Paracord tools. There's no end to the Paracord tools that you can buy, but which ones do you actually need? Today we're going to go over which ones are good to start out with and which ones are better left as upgrades later on. Let's dive in. So first up, let's talk about cutting tools. Either a knife or a scissors is going to work just fine for Paracord crafting. A knife is going to work in a pinch, but it's not going to do the best job at it since you can't get quite as close to your project when you're cutting the end off and you'll need to cut against something like a cutting mat. The scissors is going to do a much better job, um, especially a fabric scissors or craft scissors like this. These blades make nice close contact so you get a clean line every time. And lastly, if you have a paracord business or just want to be more efficient with your time, I would definitely recommend getting a hot knife as it cuts and seals your paracord all at the same time. If you aren't using a hot knife, you'll need to find a way to seal the ends of your paracord so that they don't fray. When I first started out paracord crafting, I just used plain old matches, but that took forever and I wouldn't recommend it, but it did get the job done. Instead, I used just a plain old Bic lighter in most tutorials here at Paracord Planet. Some people really swear by these larger jet lighters, but I find that I do more damage with them than I intend to. So once you've cut your paracord and sealed your ends, now it's time to craft. A lot of more advanced designs will use what's called a paracord fid. I've got three of them right here in three different sizes. I find that I use the smallest and the largest size the most. So it's a type one fid and a type three fid. The type two is only for intermediate sizes of paracord, but the type one will work with 95 and micro. Then the type three of course works with 550. If you've never seen a paracord fid before, these are often used to thread paracord through tight spaces. All of them work about the same. You just melt your ends and then thread it on with this screw thread on the end. Alternatively, instead of fids, you can use a surgical forceps like this. And with that, you just reach through the knot, grab onto your cord and pull it back through. Lastly, you might want a knotter's tool or a marlin spike like this. This one actually is the case for our set of three fids. And what that is, is just a small spike that you can use to reach into a knot to loosen it up or to even tighten your knots. After you've made a couple of bracelets, you may find that you want a paracord jig to keep things steady and to keep your weave consistent. This one is a basic jig that we sell. It goes up to 10 inches and they're also available in anything up to a 60 inch if you're making anything like a guitar strap or a belt. Jigs come in all shapes and sizes and you can find them for things like monkey fists or Turks head knots. If you can imagine it, there's probably a jig for it. And lastly, we have paracord storage options. There's an infinite number of options for this. A lot of people end up doing DIY jobs like this Parmesan cheese container. Basically, this is just a stuff jar. So because you stuff the paracord in with a single strand, it comes out the same way. So that's a great option if you just want something on the cheap. Another option for those of you who don't want to go out and buy anything is this quick release sinnet. You just undo that last knot and it comes undone. This is a good way to store paracord at the bottom of your backpack but it takes forever to make. And then we have these three spool options. This first one, the ladder winder, is a good cheap option for storing a bunch of paracord at a time. I've seen people line them up in their bins in their workshop. It's definitely better than throwing all of your scraps loose in the bin. These last two are our own proprietary designs. We've got the wind it wizard and the tactical rope tool. This first one, the wind it wizard, has a ruler on the side, some anchor points to keep things tight, and a little cutting tool on the end. The tactical rope tool was designed as a beefier version of that. We've never heard of one of these breaking yet, and that features a couple anchor points and a bigger cutting tool. So a great option for you survivalists out there. So that was just a quick overview of some of the tools that we use here on the Paracord Planet YouTube channel. If we left out an essential, maybe a favorite of yours, definitely let us know down in the comments. As always, we'll put links to all these tools that we talked about in this video down in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.